This is the watchman giving a clarion call to the Brotherhood. And I wanted to focus on Greece today, but I didn't want to focus merely on Greece's problems, but rather on solutions. I wanted to read part of a letter that was written by Mexican billionaire Hugo Salinas Price in 2012, but which he's recently updated just a few days ago. This letter is more timely than ever, not just because he gets to the heart of Greece's real problem, but because the recipient of this letter he wrote back then, Mr. Alex Tsipras, is now the Prime Minister of Greece. For those of you not familiar with Mr. Price, he's one of the few good guy billionaires out there who actually uses his cash and influence to fight for the little guy. As far back as 1996, he's lobbied the Mexican government to pass the same sort of bill that he proposed to the now Greek Prime Minister. And what is that solution? Well, let me read just a few portions from that letter that he wrote to the Prime Minister of Greece. Mr. Tsipras, the way to lead the Greek people to stability is through real money, and not through fictitious money such as the euro, which has led to the present chaos. The present European disaster was guaranteed from the day of birth of the euro as a fictitious fiat money of a symbolic nature and not real money. Mr. Tsipras, the desperate situation of Greece offers you a unique opportunity to do something fundamentally great for Greece and to establish yourself as a great national leader. You should, quote, give Greeks a silver coin in parallel with the drachma, that you and your party may gradually lead Greece to fiscal equilibrium. He wants them to, you know, leave the euro and, and bring back the drachma and issue a silver coin parallel to it. Quote, with a silver coin in their power, Greeks will feel an enormous pride in Greece, and there will be a renewed hope of a better future, a condition which is indispensable in order to achieve a recovery. Thanks to a renewed pride and hope, Greeks will be better disposed to accept the measures which your government may wish to implement and to tolerate the difficult transition to fiscal balance. The silver coin in parallel with the drachma is the formula for national unity and reconstruction. Okay? The reconstruction of Greece will require savings, and nothing furthers saving more efficiently than silver money. The silver coin will circulate in parallel with the drachma. The drachma will remain the monetary unit of Greece. The silver coin will have a monetary value expressed in drachmas. And Greece will coin a small silver coin using the Greek symbols Athene on one side and the owl on the other, following a tradition of thousands of years. This small owl coin will contain one-tenth of a troy ounce of silver, alloyed with copper to give it hardness. This coin will be assigned a monetary value by the Greek treasury. This coin will bear no engraved value, Otherwise, the coin will go out of circulation immediately as the price of silver rises, whether in drachma, euros, or in dollars. The monetary value which is assigned to the coin shall be slightly higher than the value of silver contained in it. This condition is necessary to keep the coin in circulation and prevent its being melted down for a higher value in silver than its value as Greek money. The population will retain these coins as savings. These will not be susceptible to deposit in the banking system. There will be no silver owl bank accounts, but rather custody accounts for the public who wishes to store their owls in a safe place. This will be a storage service, and the coins will remain the property of the owner of a custody account. He's trying to maintain a separation between silver and the banking system. Very interesting play there. I go on, quote, the public may carry out payments either in drachmas or in owls according to their monetary value. Most Greeks will retain owls in savings and spend their drachmas. There, in one page, you have the essentials of a formula to revive the spirit of Greece. As you can see, we are here not talking about economics. We're talking about the fundamental levers that motivate human beings, levers that have always and everywhere produced great deeds in past ages, and that we, humans of this age, have forgotten while absorbed in electronic fantasies." End quote. So Mr. Salinas uh, 
proposal is brilliant and contains some very straightforward blueprints for how to reintroduce silver as official savings in each nation's economy. It can re be reproduced anywhere. Um, in fact, his solution basically comes down to this. Default on your debt through inflation while restructuring your economy to be productive while, and this is the key, while providing an exit for the common man, proving from the government that they're willing to put a suit of armor on the common man to protect them from this inflation by putting state-minted, state-recognized silver currency, silver money in their hands tax-free to be fully exchangeable with drachmas at any moment the owner wishes. This is the pre precisely the kind of solution that's needed, but not just for Greece, but most of the Western world as most every government has borrowed far more than they can ever repay. Okay, that debt has to be defaulted on, and an inflationary default is uh, less disruptive than outright haircuts. However, there's a catch. <laughs> Despite the brilliance of such a plan, there's one problem with it. It won't work. At least not right now. Let me explain. You'd think that the world's governments could get behind such a sensible plan. But every time Mr. Price has brought this bill forward to the Mexican uh, parliament, they have killed it. It's been killed every time by the Mexican Central Bank. Now, why would they do that? Well, because they know that silver has always been their pressure point, their Achilles heel. If a real silver savings plan like this one took off in a country of 120 million people, very soon the aggressive savings in silver would tip the balance against the cabal's silver price rigging scheme. I mean, within a year or two, Mexico's civ uh, you know, investment demand in silver could reach hundreds or even thousands of tons and the banks would soon lose control of silver's price. And when they lost control of silver's price, the price spike would kill the global debt Ponzi scheme orchestrated by the world's private central banks. In other words, instituting government-sanctioned uh, silver savings plans to save the current system is impossible because saving in silver is diametrically opposed to the current fiat debt-based system. Okay, The first would kill the second because it's not just a fiat system. That's bad enough. No, it's a debt-based fiat monetary system. The world's currencies aren't printed into existence. They're borrowed into existence. And because that's true, any government who approved this silver savings plan would be personally responsible for blowing apart the entire Ponzi scheme that we call Bretton Woods II, the world's financial system. Furthermore, the wobbly European banking system? They couldn't sustain an entry wound the size that just a Grexit would inflict on it. Several hundred billion euros is simply too much for these institutions to lose, even over time, because the larger indebted European nations would all follow Greece's lead. God knows we need more men like Hugo Price in our world, but I bring up his solution to make a cogent point. All the solutions that mankind needs the most from alternative energy to currency and money solutions to banking solutions, even most political solutions, are almost impossible to implement on this side of the impending monetary collapse. And that's precisely why we need this collapse so very, very badly. Because we cannot pursue any of the cleansing solutions that would actually make a difference. We cannot move forward until this system is done with. Now that being said, governments around the world would still do well to prepare such measures and have them ready, turn key to implement the moment this hollow, decrepit system has ended. Only then can we bring real healing solutions to restore sovereignty and solvency to our, to our neighborhoods, to our communities, to our countries, and to our world. That's what it will take. This is the Watchman signing out. Stay vigilant and bring the fight to them.